Alright, back here with another look at SHIB. Alright, uh, we're going to dig into this chart here in a second. I put a Fibonacci on here, Fibonacci retracement, to see what levels we're getting to. Alright, we're up to the 618 right now. Between the 618 and 702. Alright, we're going to take a look at some stuff here. First off, I want to give a shout out to four new members that have joined uh, the channel. Thank you so very much, guys, for joining up in the membership. Uh, LYB777, Baja Lifer, Marty McFly, and Trevor Count. Thank you so very, very much, guys. It's 99 cents to join the channel, guys, as a member. Um, or you can even uh, go to a uh, entry level. Uh, the other one's $3.99. And then I have one where I post videos uh, to learn how to trade. That's a level three and uh, you can sign up for that. There's six videos on there right now, over three hours worth of content, and I add at least one video a week onto there for a level three membership. So if you're interested in learning how to do this stuff, um, uh, please check it out, you know, eat and uh, just uh, liking and subscribing means the world to me. So thank you so very much, everybody, and uh, let's get into this, all right? First off, let's take a look at the crypto bubbles. See what's going on with the uh, rest of the market today, right? This is for the day. Quite a bit of red out there, all right? Uh, Bitcoin's still uh, playing its little game, bouncing around in here. So we're going to show you that here in a second. For the week, uh, boy, look at Rune. That thing really took off. H-bar finally. Been covering that thing forever. And finally, it's finally broke out, okay? COSPA is down 15% for the week. That thing, it looks like the correction is about over with that. I cover COSPA daily. Um, absolutely love that token. Um, if you don't know much about it, uh, go check it out, man. I don't think you want to miss out on this one. Um, of course, I think the time to get in might have been look for the year. It's up 1,600% for the year. A 16, almost a 17x. So, very good project. But anyway... Uh, SHIB, where are we at here on this list? Let's look. Speech. There we go. Shiba Inu. Rank 12th. Okay, we're up two spots. Six billion dollar market cap. All right, we're obviously waiting uh, for Shibarium to launch here. Um, I'm not sure. It said the 15th or 16th, so we'll see what happens. I just put out a bone video. Uh, if you're into that, go check that out, man. That thing uh, looks like it's come, uh, coming up for a pretty big uh, move up in price. So, all right, let's get back to SHIB here. All right, let's look at this chart. First off, usually when you get up to these levels, that 618, the 702, that you, that's where a coin is going to make its mind up, all right? If it's going to go higher or if a correction is coming, all right? You want to get through that 702 level. That's that's the first major milestone, okay? Then if you make it through the 786, you're looking at, uh, obviously, uh, higher prices from there. But right now, technically, this thing is still in an uptrend, okay? No matter what, it can come down. Even if we have a correction down to here, as long as it stays on this line, it is continuing in an uptrend. All right, so let's take a look at a couple things here. If we pull the RSIs up, we have the daily RSI at a 49 and a 59 bearish. Okay, uh, the 12 hour is just about reset at the bottom here. This is what I'm talking about if you're not familiar with an RSI. It's the relative strength index, all right? When it's down at the bottom, you're way oversold. That usually means price heads up, okay? When you get to the top, you can see price pulls down, all right? I cover this in my member in level three about RSIs. Uh, you can go check that out if you're interested in that. But uh, this thing is about reset at the bottom. The eight hour, same story at the bottom. It just flipped bullish. So uh, the four hour is just turning up also. So the RSIs are looking good, except the daily, right? This is the only thing that concerns me. I was looking at the daily, all right? And if you notice, if we zoom in here, all right? We had this high here. And we had a higher high in price. 
All right, we had this high on the RSI, which lines up with this high. If we move over one, we had a lower high on the RSI, okay? That is called bearish divergence, all right? And on the daily, uh, this is the strongest kind of divergence you can get, all right? So let's look at the weekly and the monthly RSIs and see where they're at, okay? Let's clear that off first. But uh, just like I was showing you here, connect the two tops, they go up, okay? Come down to the bottom and connect the two tops, they go down. That's bearish divergence, lower RSI and higher price, okay? So where's the weekly RSI at? Weekly RSI is at the top at 194, okay? The monthly is just reset, so that's great to see, all right? But uh, that weekly is getting a little high, so could this thing possibly be having a correction? We have a red candle on the weekly started here, okay? That daily uh, is gonna obviously probably pull this price down. All right, where could this thing be coming? Let's see here. We have a very good support area through there on the daily. And we also have a very good area through here. Okay, so could this thing be doing an ABC correction from here or could it be pulling out further? Let's move the four hour out here and get a look. All right, let's put a fib on here. All right, we got a 618. We hit the 618 twice here. Okay, once here and once here. All right, if this ends up being an ABC you pull it down on top of the B leg right there, okay, and ABC, this would be your A leg. If that's what it's doing here, your B would be up here. And then your C would be at the, you measure your C out at the bottom of that move there. All right, so if that's what we're doing here, we had that 618. Usually a B leg will come up to the 702 up here, okay, so that's 618. But with that daily pulling down, all right, I'm not counting out an ABC. An ABC would pull us down to right there. And let's put a trend, let's put a line there. Does that line up with any major support areas? All right, let's go back out to daily and take a look. All right, uh, yeah. All right, we have a... A support right through here it was support all right we could be in for an ABC here okay this daily it's rolling over pretty hard it's at a 48 and a 59 okay this thing obviously has to uh, come down here and correct and then head back up so um, that daily could definitely pull us down here if we end up losing this level here at two what is that five zeros nine nine eight Pull that down just a hair. Right there. Okay. Call it five zeros nine ninety. Alright, if we lose that, then we're coming down here to uh five zeros nine twenty six. And this will be an A B C. Okay. A B C. Alright, then we would start back up from there after an A B C correction. Now let me look here. And see if we have any that bearish divergence is what bothers me there that's the strongest divergence you can have on the daily like that and uh in that bearish divergence that usually means a bigger corrections coming in okay an abc or something like that so uh if you're waiting for an entry on this thing i uh, me personally i would be uh holding off a little bit let's see if a uh trend based fib lines up with anything here no one two three four five see that looks like a five wave up to me right here let me show you that looks like a one two three four five and then after five waves 
five waves up, you usually have this, okay? You have one, two, three, four, five, then you have an ABC correction. Then you continue on your way up, all right? So my personal opinion, and uh, it's not financial advice, guys. I'm not a financial advisor. Please look for somebody certified for that kind of stuff. But I would be looking for a pullback here, okay, until this daily gets reset. Even though these 12 hours are almost at the bottom, the 8 is at the bottom. A lot of times if this stuff is pulling down, it'll come up like this a little bit and then roll right back over and come back down. So I'll be keeping an eye on this tightly. But if it loses this support, if you're charting this, put a line there at that uh, 997. All right, if we lose that, we're coming down uh, to 925 area, right around there. All right, so, all right, guys, thank you so very, very much. Please hit the like and subscribe, and uh, I'll be back with you soon. Everybody have a great day.